The following is a presentation of WGN Sports. Last night's game was a textbook example of the Cubs' challenge this season. They're chasing the wild card spot while the rest of the world chases Sosa and McGuire. Steve Traxel almost got lost in the glare but stole the show with an outstanding performance against the Cardinals. Today, Mark Clark tries to continue his second half success. He beat the Astros in Houston last Friday. Ken Bottenfield gets the call for the Cardinals. He knocked off the Cubs in St. Louis last week. So friends, stay tuned for all the hits, inside and out, as the Cubs and Cardinals battle next. Standing room only crowd on a beautiful day for baseball here at the friendly confines of Wrigley Field as the Cardinals come a calling for the final time this year. The Chicago Cubs take them on in game two of the two game series. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Cubs baseball. I'm Chip Carey joined by Steve Stone. Last night, a great ball game. The Cubs won it four to one. The final score, the matchup of the sluggers didn't really materialize. Stoney, they went 0 for nine with six strikeouts. It was like a couple of heavyweights who spent 12 rounds swinging at nothing but air, and that's exactly what happened. Although the fans came to their feet with every at bat, you can see last night wasn't the best of nights for the two big boppers. However, today the wind is blowing lazily across the left. It might be a different story. And the story in the wild card race shapes up this way: the Mets. How about that ball club? All those double headers. They won two from Colorado last night, and the Cubs deadlocked atop the wild card pile. When we left the ballpark last night, we knew the Mets had won the first game. They were trailing in the second game, but they came back on the strength of a. Mike Piazza double with the bases loaded. Now a virtual tie for first place with San Francisco three back and the rest of the league kind of falling back. So every game for the Cubs, a big game. And with that in mind, we've got Mark Clark going to the mound, and he threw a gem last time out against Houston, and maybe a measure of payback against Kent Bottenfield because he threw very well against the Cubs in St. Louis. Indeed he did. There is your pitching matchup, a roster move for the Cubs today. Gary Gaetti has been signed. He is in uniform. He will be eligible for pinch hitting duties as he's not in the starting lineup tonight. Cubs and Cardinals, it's game two of the series. Let's enjoy our national anthem. Your caps as the United States Army Recruiting Battalion presents the colors for this afternoon's game. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and join the Bettendorf High School Choir as they honor the United States by performing our national anthem. Freedom and justice. Freedom and justice. Liberty for all. Freedom and justice. Freedom and justice. Liberty for all.
Chicago Cubs Baseball on WGN. Brought to you by Brewery Fresh Budweiser, the official beer of Major League Baseball. The new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks, it's about change. The new Dodge. The Discover Card, the card that pays you back with a cash back bonus award. AutoZone, the best parts in auto parts. Pepsi, Generation Next. ComEd, the official electric company of the Chicago Cubs. ComEd, what do you do with your power? And by Southwest Airlines, offering low fares and frequent flights. Southwest Airlines, the official airline of the Chicago Cubs.